And now let's talk about S-turns. Well, S-turns across the road are one of the three ground reference maneuvers, along with the rectangular course and turns around a point. So now what are S-turns on a road? Well, they're equal radius semicircles that you fly across a road or a straight line as seen from the air. And that's a complicated way of saying that S-turns across the road is another way for pilots to demonstrate their skills in correcting for wind to fly a precise ground track. Now you'll start by flying perpendicular to a straight road, railroad track, or something similar. And after you cross that road, you'll start by making a 180 degree turn, say to the left, back toward the road, and then fly a half circle or a semicircle. You'll cross the road again, and then make another semicircle, this time to the right, and so on, back and forth across that road. Now, as seen from above the airplane, your turns will trace an S shape along the ground, and that's where the name comes from. All right, we'll set up the maneuver just like the other ground reference maneuvers we've done. We've picked our road, and it's in front of us. We'll clear the area and start at 1,000 feet above the ground at 2,200 RPM, giving us a speed of about 100 knots in the Skyhawk. Now, you'll need to pick a road that's perpendicular to the wind, meaning as close to 90 degrees to the wind as you can find. And we'll fly at 1,000 feet AGL, and we'll have an emergency landing site picked out just in case we need it. Also, like the other ground reference maneuvers, our banks will be based on our ground speed. We'll make steeper banks downwind and shallower banks upwind. And the critical part of this maneuver is that each time we cross over the road, our wings need to come level and parallel to the road the moment we cross it. And that will be the only time our wings are level. Otherwise, we'll be in a constantly varying bank. We found a good stretch of straight road and we're flying toward it and perpendicular to it with the wind behind us. We want to enter this maneuver downwind so our ground speed will be the highest because the wind is pushing us. So we're crossing the road now and we're directly over it. And I'm going to roll into a left bank and because I'm downwind, it's my steepest bank. So this maneuver is all about timing. I'm reducing my bank angle now as my ground speed slows and I'm judging how much turn I have left. Now if I'm too close, I'll pass the road before I turn level. And if I'm too far, I'll roll level before I reach the road. So I'm continuously rolling out of the bank as I come around. And my wings are now level, and I'll look to see where the road is. Well, the road's not directly below me, it's behind me. By the time my wings were level, I'd passed the road, and it was behind me. And that means I'll need to adjust how quickly I roll out of the turn. Both the rate of rollout and the steepness of the bank can be adjusted. Now ideally, you'll roll quickly to your max bank of around 30 degrees and spend the rest of the downwind loop constantly rolling out of the bank to adjust for your reducing ground speed. You're judging how quickly to time that rate of rollout so that you pass the road with wings level and parallel to the road. I'll make those adjustments on my next pass on the downwind loop. Okay, now I'm heading upwind, so my bank will start out shallow because we're headed into the wind and our ground speed is starting out slow. And it's going to be increasing constantly through the loop on this side of the road. And this time, it'll be a right bank. Okay, so I'm starting my shallow bank to the right. And remember, when I cross the road, my wings need to come level just as I cross. That's a requirement of this maneuver. So I need to judge my distance from the road as I'm increasing my bank angle. Okay, I'm starting my rollout, and this time, as I come level, I'm right above and perpendicular to the road. Not bad. And I'm downwind again, so I have to remember to roll into my left bank a little slower and roll out a little slower as I come around this time. 
Now I'm in my left bank, which I started a little bit later than last time, and I'm at my max bank angle of 30 degrees, which will be the steepest again because I'm directly downwind. Now I'm looking out the window and judging my distance from the road and adjusting my bank as I try to draw a nice arc over the ground. Now remember, my ground speed will be decreasing all the way around, and so should my bank. So just be patient and watch your ground track. Okay, now as I'm rolling wings level, I'm looking at the road, and just as I cross, my wings are level. Now, like before, I immediately start a shallow turn in the opposite direction, and we'll do it all over again. And now I think you've got S-turns all figured out. It's all about timing, controlling your ground track by using your bank angle and keeping the wind in mind. Now try to remember that when you're downwind, your bank is steepest, and when you're upwind, your bank will be the shallowest, and you won't have any problem at all. Now there's a couple things to watch for in this maneuver. First, make sure you divide your attention between inside and outside the airplane, glancing at your altimeter and airspeed indicator every now and then, and enter the maneuver heading downwind and fly it coordinated all the way around. I like to practice this maneuver all the way down a road and then go back the other way, and after a few circuits, you'll be able to time your turns and adjust your banks so each time you cross the road, your wings will be level the moment you cross. Master this maneuver and you'll become proficient in handling your airplane even when the winds are strong.